Hello, today I'm going to show you about some work that I've been doing with the Siri Proxy that was recently released and that's in early testing. There's a link in the description where you can take a look at it and play with it yourself. The Siri Proxy works by using a fake local DNS registry for gazoni.apple.com, the, the servers that run Siri. The proxy server will act like the Apple servers and allow Siri to ask and answer questions as well as do tasks. The cool part about this is that you can program your own plugins into the proxy and be able to make Siri do pretty much anything. I have seen people tweeting and starting their cars with this and I decided to build a few plugins of my own. The first plugin I created is for Google Voice. On the iPhone, Siri can only send text through the native messaging app. Now we're able to send a text using Siri and Google Voice. Send a text using Google Voice. What number? 319-853-8426. What should it say? This is a test using Google Voice and Siri. New message to 319-853-8426. It says, this is a test using Google Voice and Siri. Ready to send? Yes. Message sent. Now, as we can see, here is our Google Voice message that we just sent. The second plugin I created is for Wake on LAN. My computer is now asleep and I'm going to use Siri to wake it up. Wake up my computer. Which one should I wake up? Desktop. And there we go, it just woke up. The third plugin that I created allows you to control iTunes playback. Computer iTunes open. Opening iTunes. Computer iTunes Play. Playing iTunes. Now iTunes is playing. Computer iTunes Next. Computer iTunes Volume 100. This is going to set the volume to 100%. ITunes volume there we go. To there are many commands that allow you to control iTunes in this plugin, including play, pause, next song, previous song, mute, unmute, volume up, volume down, setting volumes at a percent, and stopping playback. My final plugin is the most extendable of all. It allows you to open and close any program as well as minimize windows. This is accomplished through AppleScript, so anything that's possible in AppleScript is theoretically possible here. Computer Chrome Open. Computer iPhoto open. Let's try it again. Computer iPhoto open. Opening iPhoto. And there's iPhoto. Computer Word open. 
opening Microsoft Office Word. There we go. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned as there's probably lots more to come.